good morning. Today we're going to go on a little motorcycle ride. We're going to ride from here, which is in Princeton, uh, West Virginia, down to Petersburg or Peterstown, West Virginia, and then Sweet Springs. I may be saying that first town wrong, but it's supposed to be kind of a smooth and gentle turns and some covered bridges we found it in a guide a local guide for this area so we're getting ready to go here comes my partner you ready to go yeah i went to go get changed so i've told many <laughs> yeah there's they do nickel and dime me to death in this state Nothing like being caught at a toll booth uh, with no money, so, or no no cash, I should say. So we're trying to be a little more prepared now. It's a little overcast today. It's about, I don't know, mid-70s, I think. It's supposed to get up into the mid-80s, possible rain. So we're going to try to get out and back before then. We've got a rain gear just in case, but we don't enjoy it, so... To the right of this shot is the Glen Lynn coal-fired power plant. It was in service from 1919 through 2015, and currently it's in the middle of a $200,000 repurpose study that was approved by the state. One thing about these uh, states that we were riding through is you cross the border from one state to the other pretty frequently. And being from Texas, I'm not used to that. So it was a little bit difficult to keep up with which state we were in at any particular time. This is a really nice area out here. We're between Princeton and Peterstown right now. You can see in the mirror, Lorena working hard to get the shots for this video. I think she does a great job. What do y'all think? Ahead of us on the right, we're going to pass by a red barn that has a flag painted on the side of it. An interesting fact about this barn is, is that I was telling a gentleman at the RV park about our ride and where we went, and they live right near this barn. And so we had met them in another place, but they actually live out here in this area. So it was kind of cool to meet them and talk to them about the history of that barn. As we ride along this area, I wanted to take a brief second and say thank you to our viewers. We really appreciate y'all taking the time to watch these videos. We are truly blessed to be able to do this and enjoy producing these videos and hope that you like them. Did you see the sign at the top? No. What did it say? You get it on the phone. What does it say? 8332 Indian Creek Covered Bridge number 4364 built to 1898. Re rehabbed in 2000. People from the and writing all over it. It's a shame. 
Oh wow, it's like their son's giving me a history of it. Oh. When the white settlers first came to this area prior to 1750, no Indians were permitted residence at that time. It was the hunting grounds of the Shawnee Indians who resided along the Ohio River and came here to hunt over trails along the Kiwana and the New River. Then up Indian Creek to this area. The last permanent residents were the Cherokee Indians who were driven out of south of New River by the Iroquois. Many bloody battles fought here during the Indian Uprising, 1763, known as the Pontiac War. All white settlers who were not killed or captured fled back east of the Appalachians, returning in about a decade building stockade forts amongst which were Cook's forts in 1771 on Indian Creek. Interesting. I'm not going to read it all, but you can stop the video here if you want to read a little bit more about it. This is absolutely a beautiful bridge. You can hear the creek. Indian Creek Bridge, 1898, Monroe County. It's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Beautiful. It's quiet. So that goes all the way to whatever. <laughs> so pretty. Let's go down by the creek. We're gonna have to take her picture, dear. Let's do it. Look at that. Beautiful it's beautiful. Tree. No telling how long it's been here. Long time. Oh gosh, this is gorgeous. Oh look, there's something else over there. Where? Over there. There's a building of some sort. We'll have to go look. That's gorgeous. Just listening to the sound. I could literally take a nap listening to that.
Go ahead, touch the tree. I saw you touching it. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yes, I did. I felt your soul. Steambank Restoration Indian Creek Watershed. These S-curves are a lot of fun to ride. This is Union, West Virginia. We really enjoyed riding around this little town. There are lots of historic buildings here, as you'll see in the video. See, there's another patch quilt. Yeah, we kept seeing these quilts on buildings as we passed by these areas. So we looked up what they mean, and they really just celebrate the rural, rural area and agricultural traditions, and they also promote travel in these regions. Uh, these are called quilt trails. <laughs> I'm not a little Do you turn? You ready? I think you can find the tourist guys to find their south. Holy crap. <laughs> Is you going to be able to do it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. You might not make it, but I'll be alright. Oh, I'd make it from back here. Lorena has the nerve to ask me if I'm going to be able to get started going up this steep grade. Whatever. Can't, if you can't ride that, you don't need to be riding. No. There's a quilt. Yeah, what is with that? Let's look it up. There's the mocha.
Não vou tirar o vento, ó. Quieta. Some of y'all might be wondering why Lorena is not riding her own motorcycle. She chose to ride with me today just to get this video. It's really difficult to make these videos while we're both riding. Uh, this is taking us back out to where we need to be. <laughs> we'll just turn up a different way. There's a the house for sale. I bet the king will jump out. <laughs> no, it's not. It's the first. Yep. The bulldozer died right there. Get on your side. Call, I need to call Diesel Creek and have him come dig that one out and see if it'll start. This building is called the Sweet Spring Sanitarium, or just Old Sweet. It was built in 1830 and is a mineral spring and is in West Virginia. People on the right having a cookout must have thought we were crazy. We rode by them three separate times. We made it to uh, the West Vir no. West the Virginia. The Welcome Saturday. Virginia sign, which is here. <laughs> and where was the other sign? West Virginia's oh, over there. Let's go over here.
so pretty here. A minute ago, we thought we were at the insane asylum, but it wasn't. I want to go there as another excursion. But Kevin says no, but we're going to go, I'm telling you. Okay, here it is. There it is. West Virginia sun. They drive fast around here. Scares the shit out of me. Holy shit. I've never driven through a large culvert, but here we go. Get it. This is White Sulphur Springs in West Virginia. It has a population of 2,231 people. It was founded in 1770, and it is the home of the Greenbrier Resort, uh, which has served as the training camp for several NFL franchises over the years. We're in line to pay our toll to use the highway in West Virginia. Each time we go through here, it's $4.25. I could have easily paid for a season pass had I known in advance that I would need it. <laughs> 